Welcome. In this video, we're going to cover using global variables in Postman requests and Postman collections. To start, I'm going to assume that you have Postman installed, either the Chrome app or the native Mac or Windows app. If you don't and you need some help from that, you can go to getpostman.com docs and there's a video and some documentation about how to install Postman on your computer. I'm using the Mac app, which you can see. On the left hand side, you can see that I have history of requests that I've done uh, the last couple of days and a list of collections. I'm going to walk through creating a chain request, set of requests, including global variables that we're going to use to pass data from one request to the next. And we're going to create a collection to save the requests. For this example in particular, I'm going to find the weather near our Postman office in San Francisco and post it to a Slack channel. Uh, this collection is going to request, include three API requests um, using variables to link the requests. Go ahead and follow along and you can create your own requests based on this template. The last request is going to post to a public channel on our Postman Slack account. And if you are following along, it would be great if you could change the address in the request so the weather, we get the weather posted from wherever you are. So for the first request in this collection, what I'm going to do is use the Google Maps API to find the longitude and latitude of the location that I'm interested in. To do that, I'm going to go to the Google Maps API developer's guide. In particular, I'm going to use this request. So I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to write my first request right here. I'm going to paste the whole thing right here, including this, um, the parameters and the output format that we want. So you can see here, the first thing I need to do is change the output format, or specify the output format. I'm going to specify JSON. And then I need to set some parameters. The two parameters I need to get the latitude and longitude are the address, the street address of the location I want to cut geocode, and um, the key, the API key that I'm going to use to access the Google Maps API. So I'm going to specify both of those right now. You can put the parameters up here in the request. I'm going to use the Postman parameters function. So I needed two parameters, one called address and one called key. And as I said, the value for the address is the US postal address. So I'm just going to type in the US postal address of where I am. And then I need a key. So I'm going to click here. Um, I'm back on the Google Maps API, and getting a key is pretty simple if you don't already have one. So I already have one, and I've created a project called Casey's Weather Demo, so I'm going to use the key for that. If you haven't, go ahead and follow along on the Google Maps API how to get a key. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to enable the API, and then here's my API key. So I'm going to copy that, put that in here. So, so far my request is in pretty good shape. I am going to save it right now um, because I've typed enough that I don't want to run the risk of losing it. Uh, saving it is great because I can share it with people if I wanted to and then I'll be able to reference it pretty easily if I want to do it, use it going forward. I'm going to give it a request name. In this case, I'm going to call it get lat long because that's what it does. If it was a more complex request, I might put a description here. I'm going to save it to a collection. A collection is kind of like a file folder. So it's in this case, it's a collection of requests that are related to each other. And it'll just be easier to have them together because I'll be able to refer to them, share variables, and run them later. So I'm going to create a new collection. I'm going to call this get weather and post to Slack. And go ahead and save that. And so now over here on my collection side, you can see that I have a 
uh, collection called Get Weather and Post to Slack. I'm going to favorite it so it pops up to the top because I'm working on it. And it has one request in it, Get Longitude and Latitude. So I'm going to go ahead and send this request and see what I get. So you can see from that I get a bunch of information about um, the location that I typed in, which is 145 Jackson Street, including the longitude and latitude. Before I go anywhere, I'm going to add some tests to this request. Two things. I'm going to add some code to make sure that the request works correctly going forward and also captures the information that's in the body of the request so I can use it later. So you can see here, first test is that I'm getting a 200 response and then I do a couple of things. I set two variables, one called lat long, which is the data I got from the Google Maps API, and then the formatted address, two pieces of information. And I go ahead and take the response body and put that in. I'm going to use these variables in the next couple requests. So now I'm ready to build my next request, which is to take that latitude and longitude and get the weather for that particular location. So I'm going to create a new request. To get this, I am going to use a different API, let's close this up, called forecast.io. And this is, a, has two, is an API that has two specific calls, one that give, provides forecast and one that provides actually historical information. So this is what I'm going to call. Again, I'm going to copy and paste that here. So this also requires two sets of information, one the API key and one latitude and longitude. So I'm going to need another API key. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Uh, I have an API key. It's free for the first thousand calls every day. Here's my key down at the bottom. Uh, again, you can request this if you don't already have one and if you're following along. I'm going to copy that, put that in the request. And then the next thing I need is the latitude and longitude. Now, as I said, I know the latitude and longitude from my prior request. Actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to save this request as well. I'm going to call this Get Weather. And I'm going to save this in the same collection. And I can save it to an existing collection, which is the one I just created, Get Weather and Post to Slack. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Again, over here, you can see that I now have two requests in my collection. But in any case, I, need, I want to put in the second parameter, which is the latitude and longitude. And so I got that from my prior request specifically the lat long global variable. So I'm going to include that here. I'm going to use double curly braces, which is how you specify that. Let me spell it correctly. And I'm going to save that. Now if I send that, what you'll see is I get all of, a whole bunch of information about the weather at the latitude and longitude that I specified. So this is working pretty well. I'm going to put some tests here also. Again, start with making sure that I got the right status code for the request. And in this case, what I'm going to do is take the results of the get weather request and put them into two more variables that I'm going to use when I post to Slack. The temperature, which is the weather uh, where I am, and the summary, and which is a word summary of the weather um, where I am. So here are the two variables. I set them up here. If I, I'm going to save this request, again, so I don't lose my work. And then I'm going to send it. And again, I get the same result. OK. So for the third request, I am going to post to Slack. And I'm going to post to Slack using uh, their incoming webhooks. It's already set up for us. We already set it up in our Slack channel so that I can go ahead and post there. So here's the request. First, I should make sure I know that it's a post. This is the web 
Cook location of the Slack channel called Hello Weather on Postman that I'll be posting my weather to. You can go ahead and use this specifically the way it is if you'd like. If I go back to um, the documentation, I need to set the header, content type, And then again, I need to set up, a, in this case, a pre-request script. Again, before I do that, I'm going to save this request. Be on the safe side. I'm going to name it post to Slack. I'm going to put it in my existing and there it is. Next, I want to put some code in to run before I run this request. This code is going to do a couple of things. It's going to take the information from forecast.io, round the number, the temperature, and create a title and a body for the Slack post. It's going to read checking in at and it's going to have the temperature. It includes the temperature and the summary that I got from Forecast.io, as well as the formatted address, which is something I got from Google Maps. I'm going to save that. And then I need to set up the body of the request of the post. I'm going to do it reasonably simply but you can read about it here, about how to customize how the post is going to look. In the body, I'm going to post, put in this information where the username is going to be Hello Weather. I'm actually going to change that right now just so it's... I used an emoji with a globe with meridians and then specified the title, in both fallback and title, and the body, which is the, the, the post of that's going to go on to Slack, and the color for the side. So I'm going to save all this and run the request. I get OK as a result. And then if I go over to Slack, you can see I, where I checked in at 145 Jackson, 64 degrees and clear. It's in Fahrenheit. So that's my collection. I'm going to show you one, one more thing, a couple more things actually. The first is I'm going to show you Collection Runner. So I have these three requests. I ran each of them in order and I got that post. I can also, actually before I do this, let's just put in, so to differentiate that and save it. So I can go over here and use Postman Runner to run a collection. And I can choose the collection that I just put together and I can start the test and you can see all three of the requests running along here. The tests are listed, how long it took and if I go back to my Slack channel you'll see that it's posted again with a new name because I had changed it. So the last thing I'm going to do is um, show you how to share this because I, now that I've created this collection, if you're coming up, following along, you can do it too, but I can also share the collection with you, which is a nice feature of Postman. I'm going to use it, um, a collection link. So I'm creating a link right now. All of you can copy this and put it in your browser and it will download this collection to your uh, version of Postman. Um, remember, if you want to run it, you're going to need to change, change the API keys um, for both uh, the Google Maps API as well as the forecast API and go ahead and run it. If you have any questions or comments, please send us an email at getpostman.com. And if you would like, it would be great if you could join the Postman community Slack. And we have a number of channels there where people talk about how they use Postman, tips and tricks, and ask questions. Thanks so much.